Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your monthly general reading for May 2019. This is your theme of the month. We have the energy of the Emperor coming up here. Very strong, powerful energy. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams for your um, theme energy and I'll be pulling from the Madame and Dora as well. Thank you Spirit. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And there we go. Alright, we have Winds of Change coming through here for you Pisces. I'm also using the Goddess Oracle. Alright. And we have it. We have Divine Passion coming out here. Your cards are wanting to talk. All right. I'm going to pull one Fairy Oracle for you, Pisces. There we go. We have Discovery coming out. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, I will be doing your tarot reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. Give me just a moment, Pisces, to get all of your cards ready, and then we will go over them. Excuse me. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, we're ready, Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me, Pisces. I have been battling with allergies. Please just bear with me. All right, your situation for the month of May is the King of Pentacles. That's a very nice, stable energy to have. We have crossing you, the devil coming out. In your foundation, we have the king of rods. Your recent past is the empress. All right. Crowning you is the page of rods. Your new circumstance is the seven of swords. What you need to know is the Three of Pentacles. Your environment is the Eight of Swords. Your advice from the universe is the Chariot. And your outcome energy is the Four of Cups. All right. All right, Spirit. I want to clarify the Four of Cups. As the outcome energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. We have the Queen of Cups coming through here. All right. All right, Pisces. We have, let's start with your theme and then your oracles. Please excuse my fur babies are fussing over a, a rawhide right now. <laughs> All right, Pisces, your theme for the month is the Emperor. This is the energy of Aries. This is all about uh, authority, uh, asserting yourself, um, starting new projects, power, control, being in control over what you're doing, your life. So, you know, this is building something that, that you want to be built on a strong and firm foundation as well. So, very powerful energy coming out here, asserting yourself. Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. So, I feel like this is air energy. Uh, I feel like you're going to be needing to use a lot of logic and reason as well this month. Now, with this coming out, some of you could be moving. Um, some of you could be changing jobs. There could be some area in your life that is undergoing some type of transition. Okay? Now, we have divine passion coming out here. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire coming through here for you, Pisces? So, I feel like 
you know, it may be needed for you to ground yourself, meditate, you know, and go after what it is that you truly want, what you really desire. And there's a lot of fire and passion here. And so is the, the emperor is a lot of fire and, and uh, passion as well. So I feel like you're not going to be lacking with having the passion. I feel like, you know, you need to go after what it is that you truly want and make sure you're honest with yourself. Now, we have discovery coming out here. Behold the world with new eyes. So, you know, I really do feel like there's this is going to be a time this month for you to maybe take a step back. And, you know, the hanged man is, you know, showing in my third eye right now where I feel like you guys need to step back a moment and look at your life. Look at where you've come from and and. You know, really ask yourself, where do I want to go? And then come back from that time of uh, gaining a new perspective on what it is that you're wanting to do or how you're wanting to obtain it with a fresh set of eyes and a, a different way of looking at it. Possibly looking at it maybe in a sense of possibly being restricted in some way. Because we do have the devil crossing the energy of the king of pentacles. I feel like... The, you know, with this being the situation of the month, the King of Pentacles is the energy of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This King is about stability, okay? This is the energy of being very reliable, materialistic, on, entrepreneuring, and enterprising. This is somebody that, you know, can be a business person. Um, also supportive energy that's coming through here. Uh, this is somebody that's making a living, you know, and they, they're you know they're secure they have that stability with the emperor as the overall energy you know and your theme for this month this is amazing you guys you guys have been working very hard now you could possibly uh with the devil coming out here that's the energy of capricorn possibly maybe feel like there's something holding you back and like i said it could be you need to maybe switch something up. If this has to do with career, maybe it's time you go after what you're very passionate about, what you feel like your true, uh, you know, destined path. Go after it. This could be, you know, maybe needing to go back to school, maybe learning a new trade. And that could be making you possibly feel a bit restricted or bound, uh, holding you back. But I feel like, you know, here we are with the King of Rods coming through. And this is very bold and powerful. This is that Emperor energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is you. This is in your foundation. This is what's driving you. You're going to break those that, that sense of being chained or restricted or bound. You're going to bust right through it and go. And this is the energy that's moving you. And this is the very powerful, bold energy. Uh, this is a role model type energy. The King of Rods has a lot of vitality. He's very inspiring. Whatever he sets off to do, he gets it done. And because he has that desire and passion that is pushing him forward. So I, I see you picking, you know, this is going to just like a not last very long at all, you guys. It, it, it may not even be for some of you. This could just be a temporary lapse in your mind where... You know, I don't know if I can do this. And you can. You, you most definitely can. You guys have a beautiful reading right here. Now, Pisces, we do have the Empress coming in here. This is the Earth Mother here in your recent past. She's all about fertility. She's all about being very nurturing, grounded. Uh, there's a lot of creativity that comes with this. Um, she's all about life, uh, the growth and expansion of you know, some of you, you know, very possibly could have recently given birth. For most of you, I feel like this is that creative vision that you had and that you've uh, you've taken off, you know, with that passion and desire and you're going after here. That This is that aha moment or that epiphany. You can see where you can grow or expand um, possibly what it is that you're moving forward with whether it's your career you're changing something up in your life but you see the growth you see the expansion you see the love 
Very nice, you guys. Very nice energy, Pisces. Now, up here crowning you, we have the Page of Rods, and I love the Page of Rods. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys are very passionate about something, okay? This is that fresh idea. This is that new insight. This is you having that self-confidence. This is you kicking the devil to the curb and, you know, coming out of that feeling of possibly being restricted and taking off on an adventure and going and doing what it is that you're, you're desiring. Oftentimes, this can represent as well for some of you a message. Uh, you getting a message or a messenger coming in with exciting news, something that you desire, that you want to hear, that you've been waiting on as well, Pisces. Now, as your new circumstance, we have the Seven of Swords coming through here. Now, the Seven of Swords can oftentimes represent loss or threat or theft, but I feel like for the majority of you, this is... This is making sure that you are studying, you're well-knowledged on what it is that you, where you're wanting to go with this growth and this expansion, this idea, whatever this passion and desire that you have that you're wanting to move forward with. This is making sure all your T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, you're very well-knowledged on what it is that you're wanting to move forward on. And when you, you know, and you've already started this, you have two threes. You have the Empress, and then this is what you need to know about the current situation of the month, and it's the Three of Pentacles. This is telling me that you are going to have that growth and expansion of that King of Pentacles uh, energy here. Having material gain, you know, having abundance in your life. The Three of Pentacles is skill, you know, you using your skill, being well knowledge, gaining that knowledge, uh, possibly going back to school, uh, working very hard. Um, a lot of times this can represent people watching your work and admiring your work as well, Pisces. And this can represent cooperation from others or teamwork or people coming together to plan something. I just feel like you guys have been working very hard. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's move to your environment, Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords coming out here. This is in your environment. This is anxiety. Uh, this is sometimes getting stuck in your head, maybe thinking too much, thinking negativity, negatively too much, possibly. Um, this is not something that you want to, the energy you want to stay um uh, stay focused on and you know with this being in your environment this energy can also represent a lot of times that you're isolating yourself okay isolating yourself and feeling restricted now remember we kicked this devil to the to the curb okay so I, I just feel like it's very important to make sure that you take the blindfold off if you have to do self-talk um, do positive affirmations uh, it's going to be very important for you to take the blindfold off. You have a whole world that you want to look at through a, a new perception with new eyes. You have this passion that's, that's driving you, you guys. And yes, this could be maybe some of you are having anxiety because you're moving. You know, we did have the winds of change coming up here. Your surroundings will undergo transition. For others of you, things may be moving really quickly and it could be causing anxiety as well. But the universe comes in here and wants you to know this is your advice. So you can go ahead and kick this energy to the curb as well. Because the universe is telling you with the chariot coming through here. This is the energy of cancer. You are victorious. You are successful. You are grabbing a hold of the reins and you are in the driver's seat, Pisces. Okay? This is all about domestic happiness. And most importantly... This is knowing where you're going and being victorious and successful at it, all right? So, this is the advice. This is what the universe is telling you. Take the blindfold off, okay? Keep that devil kicked to the curb. Keep moving forward because it's a win-win situation for you right now. Now, we did end the reading with the Four of Cups, and I did clarify it with the Queen of Cups because the Four of Cups can sometimes represent maybe some doubt, uh, maybe doubting yourself, maybe hesitation. 
Uh, it can also represent maybe needing to go and do some time of introspection as well. And I feel like that's what this energy is about because it is clarified by the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, okay? This is you guys feeling yourself, all right? I, I love the Queen of Cups. She's very empathic. She's very intuitive. She listens to her intuition. And I feel like that's what this Four of Cups is. You're, you're doing a lot of going within, listening to your, your inner self, your higher self before you move forward. And that's very positive. And with this to be as the ending energy, you guys are coming up as a queen or a king, you know, energy at the end of the month and working very, very hard. So you, you're rocking it. I mean, you're going after what you want. You're paying attention to your intuition to have the desired outcome. You want this stability. You want this security, this structure in your life, okay? And that's what you're working hard towards, and you have that passion. But you're also listening to your intuition and allowing the universe to guide you. You're trusting in the universe. So I, I love this energy right here. And very compassionate energy as well. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and let's pull two life purpose cards for you as well. Please leave me a comment, you guys. You know, I, I look at all of my comments. I read them all. I always love to know how these resonate with you. All right. We have flowers coming out here. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Some of you may enjoy gardening. That may be how you ground yourself and connect with spirit. Some of you might get outside, take walks. Some of you may literally be florists. Um, you may take flowers to other people. You know, very nice and pleasant. That that Queen of Cups and the flowers there is just kind of... I feel like some of you are so compassionate and you help others. It doesn't have to necessarily be with flowers. You could be taking someone food or, or maybe helping someone as well. Helping assist someone. All right. We have writing coming out here. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So some of you may be skilled writers. Uh songwriters you could do poetry um you like it says here you could be a teacher you i mean you could be a role model for others as well very positive energies you guys i love you pisces um please leave me a comment let me have, know how this resonates for you and i send you all my love wishes and blessings you guys bye bye